We use breast-specific gamma imaging as an adjunct modality to breast cancer diagnosis, so that is an additional way as a problem-solving tool. Uh, and we use it in an, a large number of different clinical situations. Um, we use it in virtually every biopsy-proven cancer to understand if there is another area of cancer in that breast or if there is possibly a cancer in the other breast before the patient goes on to definitive breast surgery. Another indication that we use the breast-specific gamma imaging is for uh, working up patients to see if there's breast cancer anywhere else in their breast. For example, if a patient comes in, and I had a patient recently, came in with a palpable mass, we did a fine needle aspiration that revealed malignant cells. The mammography was actually negative in this patient. She was a young woman with very dense breasts. The breast-specific gamma imaging scan actually revealed two areas of cancer, the one that we could palpate and another completely occult breast cancer. One of the advantages of the breast-specific gamma imaging is the high specificity that the test has. In clinical trials, uh, compared to biopsy proven, it has actually been shown to have a 96% specificity, which to date is, is as high or higher than any other imaging test that we have. We have um, found the uh, molecular imaging to be very specific. We've actually identified a focus on a patient who ended up having what amounted to be a two millimeter invasive cancer uh, after surgery and on full review. Um, but we will sometimes use it in conjunction with MRI just to, to get a little more detail and to see how the two correlate with each other. Yeah, there was a patient recently who um, ended up having bilateral breast cancer. We weren't aware of that from uh, her standard imaging. She had an abnormal mammogram on the left side with some calcifications, had a biopsy, had high-grade extensive ductal carcinoma in situ. As far as we could tell, everything on the right side was normal with her standard imaging. She did have an increased uh, area of uptake on her molecular imaging, which we did go back and biopsy that area showed atypical cells. I excised that at the time of her mastectomy and it did show an invasive cancer. I think it works very well using it uh, for me and my practice as a dedicated breast surgeon in conjunction with our breast radiologist. That way we can look at all of the imaging modalities, the mammogram, the ultrasound, the molecular imaging, the MRI, if that's done as well, and put everything together and get the full picture.